It is a widely accepted and sad state of affairs that dive instructors, when compared to sports educators, coaches, trainers in almost any other sport, make less money. Now I'm not gonna get to the why of it all in this video and talk about cheap dive shop owners and greedy training agencies and the inflated price of insurance because that's a wormhole that nobody here has time for. What I am gonna help you do as a newly qualified dive instructor is acknowledge the fact that you are probably gonna be making minimum wage and that in certain parts of the world, you may even be struggling for rent unless you diversify your income streams. So this Mouthpiece Monday, I'm gonna be giving you four ways as a dive instructor that you can supplement your paycheck and tips. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. What is going on? My name is James. We are back for yet another Mouthpiece Monday video. It is so great to see all of your smiling faces. Thank you so much for joining me. So I wanna thank all the dive instructors out there who watched our two-part series on how to land your dream job as a dive instructor. If you haven't seen that already, I'll link part one up there and you can get to part two through that. And we thought we'd continue this series talking about dive instructor life with one of the most common complaints that we hear across all of social media when regards to dive instructor hiring, dive instructors jobs, dive instructors getting taken advantage of because the pay is not enough for them to live on, yada yada yada. If you are new to this channel please consider to hit that subscribe button, it really helps us out and helps us to keep making this content which we make to help you become a better diver. And if you click that little bell icon you can be sure to never miss any of our awesome content. I'm actually researching for a video right now that's in pre-production, it has the working title of how much do dive instructors get paid around the world. So if you're a diving instructor and you'd like to help me with that research, my contact details will be in the description of this video below. But anyway, on to today's topic. I want to apologize for my use of the word passive in the title of this video. I don't like to deal in clickbait, but it seems like the term passive income is the one that gets battered around mostly these days. There is only two kinds of passive income. One is playing the stock market and one is playing real estate. And that's not what we're talking about today. What we're really talking about is supplemental income. Each tip I have for you today does require some effort and investment on your part. But if you put the effort in while you're awake, you could just be earning money while you're asleep. And as is known, you've got to spend money to make money. Everyone knows that the easiest way to become a millionaire as a dive instructor is to start with two million. So let's jump right in. Tip number one, stock photography. One of the perks of being a dive instructor is that we get to work in some truly stunning locales around the world and we get to see some truly awesome tropical sites both above and below the water. With a little investment in developing skill and acquiring gear, you can turn your location of your dive shop into a nice little side owner through stock photography and stock videography. If you're unfamiliar with the concept of stock photography, let me give it to you super high level. Imagine you're an ad agency in New York City and you have to market a tropical beverage drink and you need some photo and video footage of a tropical island. Well, you have two choices. Number one is you commission a photographer, you fly them out to a tropical locale and they shoot exactly what you need them to shoot, which is more expensive. And if your client's on a budget, the faster and much easier way is to go to a stock photography website like Shutterstock, for example, that has a well of resources. And then you can probably find footage that you pay a license to use and you can get whatever you need. But how much can you really make from stock photography? Well, the average image on Shutterstock goes for between 25 and 45 cents per month. That's the average. Now that doesn't sound like a lot of money, but if you commit to the long term here and you start uploading, you know, a thousand photos a month, you can end up bringing home about two, three, four hundred dollars a month supplemental income. And that's not nothing. If you think there's a buck coming, there is. And here it is. But you do have to have some skill as a photographer or videographer. Just being in a nice location with a GoPro is not gonna cut it. And the top quality stock sites like 500px or Shutterstock reject up to 50% of all photos and videos that are submitted. And with consumer cameras these days creeping up to 100 megapixels and 6K resolution, if you're rocking a GoPro Hero 3, that's just not gonna cut it anymore. So you will have to invest in modern camera equipment. The key to success with stock photography to make three, $400 a month is 
both quality and quantity. You need to be prepared to upload a thousand photos a month, each month, and expect to have 50% of them rejected. Now that's not gonna make you 200, $300 in the first month, but if you build up your online portfolio over time, soon enough, you'll be making money while you sleep. Tip number two for supplemental income as a dive instructor is to start a blog and sell space for AdSense. Okay, blog AdSense breaks down like this. You find a niche topic that you have an expertise in and you start writing articles. You post consistently and you keep your blog updated. Once you've cultivated a nice organic following for your blog, you can allow services like Google to place ads next to each article that when somebody clicks through on one of those advertisements, generates revenue for you. How much revenue, I hear you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked and it's a little bit complicated to answer, but let's use a very, very simple example. Ad revenue through AdSense requires on two numbers to be known. One is your CPC, which is your cost per click. In other words, every time someone clicks on one of those ads, how much is that worth to you? This is decided by how rare your topic is, in other words, how niche it is, and how much traffic your blog gets. The second number you need to know is your CTR, which is click-through rate. That is expressed as a percentage of total traffic that arrives to your blog page over the amount of those people that actually click on the adverts. So as an example, if we assume that you have a cost per click CPC of 50 cents per click and you have a click through rate of 5%, in other words, you have 100 people land on your blog page, five of them are gonna click on one of those ads. How much traffic would you need to make $100 per day? So first we need to figure out how many clicks equals $100. So we take $100 and we divide it by 50 cents per click and that gives us 200 clicks. So then we need to take those 200 clicks and divide by 0.05 for our 5% click-through rate and that gives us 4,000. So we need 4,000 people arriving on our blog page to make, on average, $100 per day. So you're all dive instructors, you all have expertise knowledge in a particularly niche area, but added to the fact that you're scattered all over the globe. So you can write niche about your exact location, the type of diving where you are. You can write a daily blog about life at your dive center, whatever tickles your pickle, but it needs to be as specific and niche as possible. As with the stock photography and tip number one, this isn't something that's gonna pay you on day one or day two of you doing it. This is something you need to invest a little bit of time and effort into, and then over the course of that time when you've built Built up a nice blog with some solid articles in there and you've maximized it for SEO, then you're going to start to see returns. Tip number three for generating supplemental income as a dive instructor is affiliate marketing. Now, like tip number two, you also need to have some kind of a blog or online presence which you can base your affiliate program around. And like number two, that takes time for you to both generate the content for and develop a following of. If you're not sure what I mean by affiliate marketing, first, I'd like to welcome you to 2019. And second of all, I draw your attention to a video which I'll post up above there where I talk about supporting your local dive shops. As a dive instructor, you have a privileged position to influence your students. You've been around the block, you know what gear works, you know what equipment you use, and you trust it with your life day in, day out at work. Why wouldn't you recommend that gear to your students? And if you're gonna recommend this gear over that gear, why shouldn't you receive a commission for it? So if your dive center doesn't have a retail operation that you would have a conflict with, there's no reason that you can't reach out to one of the more internet savvy dive companies and put together your instructor package as an affiliate program and then recommend that to your dive students. I do it and you should too. Here's the but, most affiliate programs will have some kind of a prerequisite for the amount of following that you have on social media before they allow you to open an affiliate account. So you will have to develop a network of friends and students and gain some kind of a following before you can benefit from affiliate revenue. Tip number four for making your dive instructor paycheck just that little bit fatter each month is to cultivate your own personal brand and their merchandise. Dive shops do it all the time. Why can't you do it as an instructor? When people train with you, they want a memento of their time. As a dive instructor, you're creating memories for these people. Now, they're probably gonna buy a t-shirt from the dive center that you're working at. If you're an independent instructor, you absolutely need to be selling your own t-shirts. Every student of mine through Miami Technical Diving 
wants that commemorative logo t-shirt. Mass straps, water bottles, design your own brand, design your own logo, come up with a quirky tagline, then sell it to your students and followers. Now for Miami Technical Diving, what I did was design the t-shirts and then I placed a, a run order of them, paid a company to print the t-shirts, they shipped all the t-shirts to me in a set amount of sizes and then I sold them to my students. The problem with that was that I had sizes left over all the time and often I had to handle the shipping myself and just took time out of my day. So for Divers Ready, what we've done is partner with Teespring. They take all the stress out of merchandising. So we uploaded our designs and they create an online store for us. They handle all of the payment and processing, pay us a commission based on our designs and handle all of the shipping. So we're very pleased to announce that we are launching our store this exact Monday. You're gonna find all of our merchandise through the Teespring link in the description of this video below. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the little bell icon so you never miss any of our awesome content. We've got so much more good stuff heading your way. Yes, it sucks that dive instructors are not paid what they're worth. Yes, it sucks that dive instructors are exploited because their job is their passion. But hopefully with these four pointers, you can find some inspiration to help fatten out your supplemental income and keep on, don't say it, living the dream. He said it, didn't he? Until next time, my name's James. This was your Divers Ready Mouthpiece Monday for this week. Dive safe, dive often. Peace.